Hey guys, what's up? It's Looney TNT. We are on a Slayer task. A Slayer task a lot of people don't enjoy, but I got a lot of updates on the uh, the road to max or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, I got a lot of updates and things that we're going to talk about today. Um, I tried to explain RuneScape to my wife, and I probably, I don't know if I did a good job. You guys let me know if I did a good job, okay? So, We'll start with the story, then we'll go with the updates. I get home last night, and uh, I get home from work. Worked all week. I was like, all right, we're ready to make a video. I'm ready to uh, give you guys updates. I'm ready to do a Slayer task. I had a, a Necrola task uh, uh, set up, and I was like, all right, we're going to do a Necrola task. Now, I don't play on the phone very much when I do... Um, Anything that involves like a lot of movement or uh, coordination or anything. I, I, I really like to AFK. I'll do like a farm run or I'll do like a birdhouse run. Um, I even did a Slayer task that uh, involved like just like a regular just hitting mob. But when it comes to Necreals, it's a little bit different. And I get home and uh, I, was, I told my wife, I was like, man, the internet's still down. And it, it was down to like uh, 11 o'clock last night. But I told my wife, I was like, man, the internet's down. I wanted to play RuneScape today. And she's like, why don't you just play it on your phone? I was like, well, I can't really play it on the phone because of what I'm trying to do. She's like, well, you played on the phone before. And I was like, all right, let me explain. So this is, this is what I told her. Let me know what you guys think, if I did a good job or a bad job. I tell her, yeah, but I have a Necreal task that I'm going to be doing. And I said, the, the reason I can't do the Necreal task on the phone, or I, I could, I just don't want to, is because I'm going to barrage it. So what I have to do is I haven't switched my Magicka spellbook yet. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go switch it to Ancients. And then when I switch it to Ancients, I'm going to go to the place and i got to barrage it. The issue with that is if a superior spawns, the Necreal superior spawns these little adds and they do a lot of damage. So you got to be able to get to a safe spot because if you don't get to a safe spot and then switch your uh, your ancient uh, bar uh, barraging to I do a, um, a a single target like blood something. If I don't switch to that and get to a safe spot, I'll die. And she looks at me and she's like, okay. <laughs> so I, and then I, I, I think back on it or I look at it and I'm like, I tell my wife, I'm like, you probably don't understand anything I just said, don't you? <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. And it, it's not like it's a, like when, when I tell it to you guys, you guys probably understand what I mean, right? I, I'm not very good at like the mobile like switches and stuff. So to be able to like switch the spell book, get to the, uh, get to the, uh, I usually do the first room up the stairs be able to do that um that single target mage but i just i didn't want to risk it and you know what the funniest thing oh my goodness all right i gotta tell you this so my internet comes back up like at 11 right the thing that i was worried about is the neck reel, the big neck reel. he's usually not a big deal when you run up the stairs and you could just uh do the single uh the spell on him it's fine i died <laughs> even on pc i I, you know, I could have avoided it. The issue that happened was he spawns in and I, I moved positions and I was at the bottom of the stairs, but there was, there was a few neck rules in between us. And I was like, all right, not a big deal. Well, he's like at 10% health, right? Super low. The neck reels, these, like they move and he moves up. And the ads spawn behind me. His big ads, like the ones, I think they do range. And they start smacking me. And I'm like, hey, they're going to despawn when this dies. Let me just stand here. I died. <laughs> oh, I died. I was like, oh my goodness. This is what I was worried about on the mobile phone. And then, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to get back there. 
Because I was like, all right, let me just try to teleport back there. You don't got teleports because you're an ancient. And I was like, oh my goodness. And I already switched worlds to find the spot because, so this are, oh, this, I have a question. All right. If you guys are still listening, I need, I need an answer because I was so confused. I wasn't sure if this was going to mess things up. So I died, right? Um, let's say, I'm going to give you an example. I died on world one. Okay. If I switch to world two to get to a player owned house to teleport back, will my stuff be in world two or is it stuck in world one? I was unsure. I wasn't sure, but luckily the world I was in, there was a G an OG that was chilling at its house with it open and it had a teleport thing. And I was like, you just saved me. And I, I got, I took it and, uh, I got there and got my stuff back and continued the Slayer task and, and finished it. But I, I was unsure. I was like, dude, how am I supposed to get back there? Like I have, like I, I had a, um, if, if worse comes to worse, I would have just teleported to winter Todd or whatever, winter toad and, um, ran down and just went right to it because I was in the catacombs of Corinne. I think is how it's the place where you go and you can get the totems and stuff like that. That's where I was. But, um, yeah, it was, <laughs> I died anyway. I didn't want to play it on mobile cause I was afraid I would die. Get on PC, die anyway. I was like, oh, geez, man. But let me take a sip of coffee real quick. It was good. But that's pretty much the um, the adventure that I had yesterday. It was it was pretty, uh, pretty comical. But, you know, it is what it is. What do you guys think? Uh, oh, yeah, let's let's give some updates, though, on on the account. I'm, I'm sure this part is where people like don't care. But the people who have uh, been here, you know, supporting me, you guys are a little bit more invested in the uh, in the journey of the max. So uh, thank you guys. And let's uh, give you guys some uh, juicy details on kind of what's going on. All right. So currently we are total level 2103. That's pretty good, guys. We are getting there. We are slowly but surely getting there. We are chipping away at the Slayer skill at a level 91. We are, uh, once we hit level 92, we are halfway there. Um, it is slow going. But the good thing about that is, is we're also training our combat skills up. And I am no longer a complete noob. I'm actually, I got different tasks to do different things. Some tasks I range, some tasks I melee, some tasks I, uh... I mage, mage range, uh, melee, right? So I'm doing all three. I was doing all melee. That's all I was doing. And then I started to switch it up and, uh, it's definitely, um, making things easier. So, uh, let's look at the combat skills. Um, so currently I am level 93 on attack. That is the uh, next combat 99 other than HP that I'm going to be getting before we switch to, uh, to defense so that's cool that's been going up uh slowly but surely 99 strength obviously um 87 defense that's pretty low so that one's going to give us some some total levels when we start training that when i have 99 attack 99 um strength oh man it's going to start uh yeah we're going to start smacking some stuff um we also have uh, 97 hp 97 hp i'm pretty excited about that because that's a uh, I'm, I'm excited to get the 99 cape because I hear it's pretty good for thieving when you're thieving with the, uh, with the HP gain or something like that. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just talking. I've heard people talk about it. I don't know if it's game changer. It's probably not like super crazy, but I did hear something about it. So we'll, we'll see if that helps out. Probably not, but it will, it will still be fun, uh, to achieve anyway. Um, Range. We have 90 range. Now, you'd probably think I, I'd have higher range than that. But realistically, I haven't really been ranging any tasks unless uh, until I got the... I, I forget what the, the bow is called. The V-Bow. 
the that like hits three things. I really haven't been training just range until I got that, and uh, it's been working out pretty well. Most of my range levels have all been through cannons, so it's pretty exciting that I got up to this point um, with just a cannon anyway. And then the the bow, I've been uh, doing some work. It, it actually gives me decent gains, like the blood blood veils, blood oh, blood voids, whatever they're called. I love that task because it's so AFK, and I get like a hundred and forty um, thousand range XP an hour. So I, if I can get one, of, if I can get like three of those today, I'd be very happy. Um, Abyssal demons have been fun. I like it with the um, with the bow. You know what would be cool though? I wish. All right, hear me out. I wish we could spend Slayer points. Jagex, listen, listen, hear me up. All right, everybody share this to Jagex right now. I wish we can spend Slayer points or buy an item that makes us super heavy that we can't teleport so Abyssal Demons don't teleport you anymore. It would be so nice. So <laughs> I know, I get it. That's that's just a thing about the Abyssal Demons. But it's so annoying, right? Can we can we agree? Like once you once you do it enough and you're still trying to to get them all in that one spot, it's annoying when they're teleporting you around everywhere. I, I don't mind them teleporting, but teleporting you is uh it, it's oh there's a big one. Oh guys, imbued heart right now? Imbued heart right now? Alright, Jagex. If I get an imbued heart right now, we're taking the teleportation of abyssal demons away forever. Okay? Alright, 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 here we go, here we go. Come on, imbued heart. I mean, uh, drink my coffee while we're uh battling this epic fight right now. Here I'll zoom in. This is the uh the epic uh battle of uh uh this side. There. Maybe we'll do a thumbnail like that. The epic battle of the Looney TNT versus the spiked guy. <laughs> Alright, imbued heart incoming. <laughs> a seed. A seed in gold. Alright. It is what it is. <laughs> hey, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. I love the chance though, right? But let's get back to the Abyssal Demons. Um... Yeah, I wish we could do something where the teleport thing just kind of goes away. I don't know. Maybe it's nostalgia or something for people. I didn't mind it too much when I was doing 100,000 Abyssal Demons. Oh, <laughs> this is so funny. I didn't mind it when I was doing 100,000 Abyssal Demons because I did it single. I did single target. So when one is teleporting you around, it's not a big deal. But when you're killing multiple of them, like when you're killing, uh, you know, you're AOEing them, dude, it is so annoying, especially when they bring you around the corner. You guys know what I'm talking about. When they're you're in the middle and you got both sides of the room, they teleport you or you teleport to the other side and you de-aggro like two of them on the right side when they spawn you to the left side. And then you got to run back. Oh, it's so annoying. So I wish there was something like that that we we could take take away. But hey, you know what? I know I know the old school RuneScape community. They don't like a lot of updates and stuff. They don't like a lot of changes and things. And I I, I get that and I understand that. So we want to keep the game amazing. Um, but but hear me out. You know, if we maybe maybe the abyssal demon head can give the ability of no longer letting them spawn, right? So then there there would be like a, a reason to have like different colors, you know, like it gives you little buffs versus whatever you're fighting. I don't know. I don't know. So I don't know, what do you guys think? You guys ready for the weekend? Dude, I'm I'm ready to grind a little bit. I need to make a, a skateboard video uh sometimes this weekend though. I need to go get some clips. Um if you guys haven't, I do do uh TikTok. Looney TNT, so L O zero N Y T N T on TikTok. So if you guys want to uh, check that out, I do IRL stuff. So um, you know, Baby TNT's in it also, so you guys can see how big Baby TNT is. Um, he's in it sometimes, not all the time. I think he's in one of my pinned comments. He did his first skateboard trick, but uh, but yeah, we're we're doing good on that. I think it's over like sixty thousand followers or something like that. I got a new board, so uh, I got to do uh. 
um, like a not a review, but just kind of showing I got a new board. It was a a local um, board company here, or local skate shop, and uh, he hooked me up with the deck. So I was like, all right, dude, I'll I'll make a video about that for sure. So super nice guy. But uh, but yeah, the Looney TNT is out here, man. We're doing some Slayer, we're doing some skating, we're doing a lot of stuff. Uh, it's been fun. And, uh, it's, I, you know, dude, I just, I just want to ramble a little bit. I just want to talk. I don't know if I want to end the video yet. It's going to be a longer video. If you guys are here, Hey, let's just talk and chill. Let's just, let's just have some fun. All right. I might as well start live streaming, right? When I get on and play, I might as well do a little bit of live streaming and tear it up, but who knows? So a lot of updates and stuff on RuneScape, um, with like different, a lot of magic switches, I guess, like uh, magic switches. What do you guys think about the combat like rework? I think it's interesting and I think it's going to be fun. And um, I'm kind of excited about it. Like, so like certain monsters are, I, I enjoy the fact that certain monsters will be weak to some things, certain monsters will be weak to other things. I think that will add a lot of variety to the game. Like, if fire giants aren't weak to water spells, I'm going to be upset, okay? <laughs> I'm going to be upset. I haven't looked into a lot of the details, so maybe it already says they are going to be. But I think it would be um, it would be fun because then I, I definitely I, – I do like fire – because I know some people don't like to do fire giants. I don't mind them because they're super AFK. I bring a cannon and I, uh, I bring my like prayer armor. And uh, I just set it up, and dude, I just I go to town. I'm just like, all right, let me uh, let me get out of my chair and uh, come back in like a uh, a minute, and then I come back. Um, not a minute because my cannon balls run out. But uh, but yeah, it, it's fun. But I I wish uh, we had the option of maybe like super fast killing him with water, you know. So I don't know. I think there's a lot of upside. Um, switching some of the gear. Dude, some of the gear is really expensive. Really expensive. Um, I'll probably never have that gear for... Uh, well, you know what? I might have that gear one day. Because the plans are... Let me let me guys give you a little insight in the mind of Looney TNT. Okay? Alright, don't, don't worry. It will be okay. So, the way that I'm thinking is when I hit max, because I would love to hit max on RuneScape, right? Is the game completed for me? Because that's my ultimate goal, is to get max. It is not yet. So when I look at max, I see that as a start of a journey. A journey that will be a long, hard road. Because there are so many things that RuneScape has given you the ability to do. They didn't force you to do anything. They gave you the ability. And I think it is very cool. I want to do the collection log. I want to get the quest cape. I want to get the achievement cape. The achievement diary cape. I want to get the um, um, combat achievements done. There are so many things that I'm looking forward to doing. And now, it is probably beneficial to get those things done early game. But I'm not worried about it too much. Because the, the way that I play the game is, is going really well. And I will occasionally go do some stuff. Like uh, the last video we did was the Hill Giant boss. I did the Hill Giant boss. And, um, and that was fun. I enjoyed that. We got all the uh, combat achievements for that thing, and uh, it, it was good, you know? So we'll, we'll work on those little things slowly if we need to. I, I would love the extra cannonballs in my uh, my thing, but I just don't want to spend the time reading or anything right now. So there are a lot of things that I'm looking forward to doing after I hit max on RuneScape. And when I say after I hit max on RuneScape, guys... How much do I have? What six months to go? Six months or more before I even max, because there's a lot of things that uh that are going to take a long time. Some skills are faster than others, but money I'm going to have to make money at one point because like I don't have all oh, this is 
man, I have a, a plan, all right? I have a little mini series that I'm going to be doing. That Not guaranteed, okay? I'm planning it, but we'll see what happens. On prayer. It's a little mini series on prayer. And you guys are probably thinking, what the heck are you talking about? Just just wait, okay? Just wait. Um, I don't know. I think there's there's gonna be some money things that we do some some things that uh that will make me some money in the long run. Slayer is still generating money, but it also is costing me money too, because of supplies and stuff. But I think overall we're doing all right. But that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for sticking with this video, a twenty minute long video. I know a lot of you guys enjoy this type of videos, and uh, if if you have any friends that maybe would like it also. Um, we're growing the channel. The channel is growing by the day. It's pretty crazy. We're uh, we're up to forty five hundred subscribers. It's pretty insane. We're we're just growing and growing and growing. So thank you guys for uh, joining the uh, my little piece of the internet here. Uh, we don't do a lot of crazy stuff, but eventually we're gonna be doing a lot of things. It's just right now we're getting through these boring parts. When we start bossing and we start collections and we start, we, we can actually do like little series on, on different things. That that's going to be fun. I'm excited. But that said, like always, anything goes good with the Dragon Med.